this doesn't happen in life. It does happen. It's not hard to guess that the man was the stepfather. Here's how it all happened. Masha was left alone very young. Her parents passed away in a car accident, and so she was brought up by her grandmother. But she didn't look after her granddaughter enough, and Masha started going out early with the boys. Her grandmother did not even have time to tell her about sexuality, but she had to protect herself. And then at 15, Masha got pregnant. When her grandmother found out about it, it was too late. The decision was made to have a baby. And so when Masha graduated from 9th grade, in the summer she gave birth to a daughter. All care for the newborn baby was taken by her grandmother. And the young mother went to study at a technical college she had to get at least some kind of profession. The grandmother set herself to the fact that she could not get sick after all, she had to help her granddaughter and great-granddaughter. After all, there was no one else to help them. Then Masha graduated from college, got a job, and little Vika went to kindergarten. And then suddenly her grandmother got sick, and could not recover. Masha cried very hard. After all, she was left alone with her daughter in this world. Masha set herself to do everything to provide for herself and her daughter. To do this, Masha had to work very hard. At the age of 24 she had already begun to hold a good position, and was earning very well. She could normally provide for herself and her daughter. But for some reason her relationships with men did not work out. Vika immediately began to cry, capricious and jealous of her mother to all men. And Masha made a choice not in favor of men, but in favor of her daughter. And then when Vika was 12 years old, a young man came into their house. Anton was a little younger than Masha, but she really liked him. And what was most interesting was that her daughter did not interfere with their communication. Anton, Masha, and Vika began to live together. And then, a year later, Masha and Anton got married. Several years went by. And then when Vika turned 15 years old, she began to behave very strangely. She started throwing tantrums all the time, often left home and slept overnight in the unknown. Masha was very worried about her. She understood that it was just her daughter going through puberty. And then Anton said he was leaving her. Masha couldn't understand what was going on in her life. What had happened to Anton? Her problems with her daughter and her husband made her so nervous that she fainted at work. Her colleagues called an ambulance and Masha was taken to the hospital. There, the doctors found out the reason for her indisposition. It turned out that Masha was pregnant. It was so bad timing. When Masha came home, she called Anton and invited him over for a serious talk. Vika was home, too. My dears, I have news for you. I am pregnant. And Vika said. Me too. Masha became numb with tenderness. Oh my god. Who are you pregnant with? The same one you're pregnant with. Anton. What is she talking about? Is that why you left me? Anton was quiet, and then confessed that it was Vika who seduced him. But he couldn't lie to Masha, so he packed his things and left. Vika said that she had no feelings for Anton, and that she did not want a child at all. Masha heard all this and couldn't decide what she should do now. But after a few days, she found a compromise solution. Vika, you will not have an abortion, or you may never have children later. You will have a baby, and Anton and I will raise your baby. Do you agree? Of course I agree. Everything will be fine. I'm so glad you forgave me. I forgave you, but only for my daughter. If it had been someone else, you wouldn't have gotten off so easy. Masha gave birth to a girl, and Vika gave birth to a boy. Then Vika finished school, and went to another city to study. Then she got married there. And Masha and Anton raised two children. Vika visits them very rarely, 